Whew. Friends, I need your prayers. A day ago, July the 15th, 2019, I found out that I had cancer. I don't yet know the prognosis. I don't yet know the stage. I don't yet know if I'm gonna be called up and be on the righteous side of dead. But I know that this YouTube page still exists. So I want you to subscribe. And I want you to press the bell. And I want you to know that already in the mix, I have scheduled videos that will come out whether I'm breathing or not, as long as YouTube don't shut down my channel. But I need your prayers. But I also need you to take action. I need my people on the left and the right to call Congress at 1-202-224-3121 and support Medicare for All. Those of you who don't support it, I want you to tell Congress they need to end their free ride. You see, they have something called the Office of the Attending Physician. It's run by the United States Navy, and 75% of it is paid by us. It's socialized medicine. So every member of the Republican Party or conservative Democrats that say that we can't have socialized medicine, they actually have it. And they're lying to you, my friends. They're lying to the left and right. See, they actually have it. They pay $503 a year. They don't have co-pays like you or co-insurance. And 75% of it is paid by the American taxpayer. And it's run by the United States Navy. So it's government run and government, government paid for. So every member of Congress that tells you we can't have it, they have it. So they're the employees, but they don't want the owners, which is you and I, to have it. So I'm giving you a choice. Call and support Medicare for all. And maybe a third choice, support Medicare for all and demand that Congress has to fight for health care and pay the same prices that we do. We're right here. We are the owners of this nation, the United States of America. Yet the employees, members of Congress and the president, they are stealing from us. Let's, let's call it as it is. They're stealing from us, guys and gals. So I want you to do something about it. Here's what I want you to do. You call and talk to your, your senators or leave them a message. It's going to take you three separate calls at 1-202-224-3121. If you live in Pennsylvania, you can call the first time and say, I'd like to speak to Senator Pat Toomey and his staff. Call the second time. If you live in Pennsylvania, you say, I'd like to speak to Bob Casey's staff, Senator Bal Robert Casey's staff. Call a third time. And in my area, I'm Doyle, Mike Doyle, Congressman Doyle. You call another number, the United States White House. Yeah, where the president lives. That number is 1-202-456-1111. And yes, it's a real number. No crank calls. I don't want you in trouble. And you say, look, here's the deal. Well, you say it your way, but you support Medicare for all. And you demand they get rid of the office of the attending physician unless and until every American has access. Matter of fact, unlimited access to health care. And I'm gonna answer your question that might be on your mind, whether you're liberal or, liberal or conservative. Where are we gonna get the money? Well, we start from reprioritizing our United States government's spending habits. Instead of letting companies that are multinational not pay their fair share, we demand that they do. Instead of multi-billionaires not paying their fair share, we demand that they do. Instead of our, com our country putting out trillions of dollars for wars that kill people, we demand that they put out those monies to heal people. And the other question you might have, well, if we start taxing the wealthy, and the international corporations, won't they leave? No. We are the United States of America. Do you know how badly the world needs the money from the United States and China? And we can start bringing more manufacturing, 
we are Americans in case some of you forgot, whether you're a liberal or a Democrat. And I encourage each and every one of you to shut off CNN, shut off Fox, tell them to go swimming. Because they're keeping you in hate mode or hatred mode. I know so many liberals that hate conservatives and conservatives that hate liberals. Guess what? I love all of you. I may not like your policy, but I love you. So here's a couple of things you're going to do. You're going to like this video. You're going to share this video. You're going to comment, Lord willing. And then you're going to subscribe and you're going to hit that bar because if, if God calls me up, then I won't be making new videos. But you will have at least 1,700 videos, Lord willing, within the next two weeks. And they may not go anywhere, hopefully. What I want you to know is that whether you're a gang member, which I don't like what you're doing, so do good, because you can, you have the intelligence, or you're a corporation that's doing wrong, do good, because you can. I still love you spiritually. And yeah, that means you, Jeff. That means you, Anthony. That means you, Ann. I mean, Anna and Wes, Patty, my sisters, Diane and Rose. That means you, Barb. That means you, Diana. That means all of you, Dave and Raja and Fozzy. I met everybody. That means you, Yusuf. But I need you to take up the mantle now, just in case I can't keep doing this. I need you to show the love. And whether you're a Democrat, I want you to love the conservatives. You don't have to love policy, but love the conservative. If you're a conservative, same thing. Love the Democrat or the liberal. Because I love you. James, Gail, Rebecca, Nate, and what is James' other daughter, the young lady? James and Gail's other daughter, I know it's Rebecca. Bethany. Bethany. And all the grandchildren, I love you all too, spiritually. Each and every one of you. But I need you to fight. I love you. It's really hot out here, it's about 89 degrees. It's hot. I love you. Frank, everybody, God bless you. Start making the calls and let's get fighting.